Hello, uh, this video you're going to learn how to put on a flat roof. Now flat roofs are not really flat, they actually have about a quarter of an inch or more slope to them, uh, tilted toward the side that you want to drain uh, the rainwater off, which is typically in the back. Okay, So here I have my walls, these are 14 foot walls, um, and I am going to place a, go to my roof command, and this is real simple. Um, and yes, go ahead and put it on level two. You'll have some adjustments to make after the fact. But also, come up here and look and make sure that uh, defines slope is unchecked. Okay, and that there is no overhang. These roofs will not have an overhang. And in this particular uh, application, I'm just going to use a nine inch uh, roof. And then all I have to do is go around and pick the walls. Of course, you see here I have the uh, pick walls, uh, which is on by default. Okay, so there's my roof. Next thing I want to do is I want to apply the slope to it. So here's my slope arrow. I click on that, and I draw from front to the back of the building. Okay. And now I need to set the height at both ends of this arrow. Um, the tail offset is at zero, which is going to be right here. Okay, it's just at zero right now. It's probably at about 14 feet, which we'll adjust that once we get into it. Um, the head height offset of the uh, head is 10 feet. Okay, that's we definitely want to change that because we want it to slope backwards. So I'm actually going to change it. Uh, first, I have to figure out how um, how much slope to actually put to it. So let's we have a 36 inch um, roof, and let me uh, see if I can get my calculator over here on the screen. There we go. Okay, so we have a 36 foot. I said inch, but 36 foot. So from front to back is 36 feet. So 36 times quarter of an inch per foot, which would be 0.25, equals 9 inches. Okay, so I'm going to drop the uh, roof. is going to slope downward 9 inches from front to back. Okay, so here where it says 10 feet, I'm going to change that to negative 9 inches and then apply. Now, I'll hit my check mark to make sure that I accept everything. And then I go to my 3D view to check my workout, and there we are. Now, as far as the height of the roof, the way it insets inside the building, you'll have to adjust that according to the rest of your building design. Um, this particular building will have 10-foot ceilings, and I'll have to raise that roof a little bit, um, keeping it within the, the walls um, of the building you know, to create that parapet. And to do that, you would just really come over here to your base base offset and let's say I want to raise it about two feet so I just type two feet in there and let's say it didn't do anything so right here base offset two feet enter and then it, it comes up a little bit to where I need it to be okay uh, the important thing is with your roof is that you have you know adequate space between your ceiling and the roof itself um, most acoustical ceiling applications there's going to be that space there because that's where your lighting fixtures and your duct work and all of your wiring and everything else goes so um, we'll need adequate space to be able to do that um, or two you may not have 10 foot ceilings you may have nine and a half or nine or eight foot ceilings even so um, that's just two of the things to keep in mind those two are adjustable the roof height is adjustable so is the ceiling height um, but you do need to maintain that space between the ceiling and the roof and, and uh, whatnot. So, well, that's it on doing roofs. Um, let's also go ahead and do a parapet sweep and show you how to do that. And um, a parapet sweep is basically uh, a cap that goes all the way around the building here. Um, now, depending on how you have your walls designed, 
in our original project, our front wall is much higher than our side and back walls, which would prevent you from being able to do, you know, full parpet sweep all the way around. Um, if they're all the same height, I think it will work to do a parpet sweep all the way around. Uh, I don't see why it would not. But in general, just to do a parpet sweep, if uh, if you can't do one all the way around, then you'll just have to go and do each wall separately. But uh, here we go. To do a parpet sweep, we're going to go up here to the component block. Click on the down arrow. And here it says model in place. And that's what we want to use. Some of you have probably been wondering what that is, model in place. Uh, and you're about to see what it does. Okay, but first, let me not jump too far ahead here. Uh, we want to go to insert. Go to the insert tab first, and then load family. We're going to load the parapet profile into our project. So we go to profiles when we do our selecting here, and go to wall, and then parapet cap precast. Okay, and there it is. There's a picture of it and we just click open now this does not actually put it in the project um, as far as it puts it in the project but doesn't put it in your drawing so um, now we're going to go back to architecture click on roof I mean nope not roof I'm sorry go back to architecture and click on component and then model in place and uh, it wants to know what category that our model is going to go with and we're going to say walls and if you have four if you have to do four different sweeps uh, for your parpet then you'll name them four different things like here I'll put uh, parpet front okay, and then of course I would put sides and back and things like, things like that all right all right, now I'm going to create, go here to the sweep tool, click on sweep, and I'm going to pick a path to sweep on two. Or you could sketch a path, but we're going to pick a path because we're just going to put it right here on, on top of the wall. And I'll pick the back line just because I know how the parpet is going to come out when I place it in here. I know where it's going to be sitting. Okay, and click the check mark to accept that path. <laughs> And now um, here's where we can actually draw something right here. Uh, we can actually draw a profile, or we can go here to this um, little drop-down box and look in here for you know I just loaded all those uh, the carpet cap in there and it loads a lot of other stuff in there with it. So if I go down here, I see the. Uh, 16 inch parpet cap which is going to be about the right size you want the parpet cap to be wide enough to kind of overlap the front and the back and I just selected that and and then it popped up on the screen here so there's our parpet uh, you see it's got a little bit of an overhang in the front and a little bit of an overhang in the back and then I click the check mark and there we have a parpet Okay, you can kind of see what that looks like from a profile advantage here. Okay, and that um, is you know designed, of course, to keep the water and the weather out, out of the walls themselves. Okay, so uh, go ahead and get started on that. Put your parpet on there. Um, there will be some questions that you'll have as you go along, and I do have answers to those, so um, just ask me and... Uh, and, and uh, we'll get that taken care of. Okay.